The two texts in this box resize and position automatically. You can control the space between them, their relative size, the vertical alignment as well as the horizontal one, and of course the size of the box. And despite all this automatic layout going on in the background, you can still keyframe the texts easily. Hi, this is Matthias from Marble World and let me quickly explain to you the fit two texts in a box rig that you find in the community library at rigs and presets text fit two texts in a box. So how this is working is you just have a composition open and uh, run the tool and it creates for you two text layers and a rig with some effect controls on those. The first and most important thing that you can set there are the two corners. So you can set the one corner for example here and the second corner here if the text should fit in this area exactly. And you can see already that the text adjust with it. I want to have some margin around this here so I bring them in a little bit more. Another important control are uh, the alignments here. So you can say the first the text should be top aligned for example or they should be bottom aligned or you want to keep them in the center and for each of the two texts individually you can decide if they should be centered uh, or on the left or on the right for example and you can do this for each of the two texts um, individually uh, and finally you've got some spacing control between the two texts and you've got a weight which says how big each of the texts should be with respect to the other. So 50 means each of the two texts takes 50% of the available height and if you bring this up to let's say 75% uh, for example, now you can see this is three times as high as this one because this just takes 25% and this 75% uh, of the total height. And the cool thing that all of this is fully dynamic so uh, if I change this text here you can see that it automatically repositions and scales the layers such that their relative size still be, uh, main is maintained. So this is three still three times as big as this one, uh, but uh, they still fit in the given box together. Yeah. And another cool thing is that I can keyframe. Um, so if this is your design, but you want these texts to animate in or out, you can reveal their uh, positions and scales and you can see that there are expressions on those but this does not stop you from actually from actually keyframing them so i can for example set a position keyframe and move this here over to one second and now at the beginning let me for example move this text here to this side and this text here to the other side and i can see they still animate in nicely and all of this is still dynamic so uh, if i change anything in my rig here yeah, the animation uh, still works that way, but the resizing is happening. In other words, if you click here on the values, zero is the uh, final location of uh, the text that is calculated by the expression. And if you change these to something other than zero, so at this position here, I've got, for example, a value of minus 925, which means the text is moved to the side by 925 pixels from the position that it should have when it's accurately positioned in the box. So this is very cool. You can keyframe on top um, of uh, the expressions values and the same is also the case for scale. So if you want to uh, scale this down or up just uh, here is some scale value that is currently 189% for example but if you click on it it says 100% which says this is the normal value calculated by the expressions and if you go want to change on top of that so say here I want to have 100% but here a little bit earlier I want to have less you can just drag it down and uh, now you've got also this scale animation. Okay, that's a fit two texts in a box rig. Just one of many tools of automation blocks for After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one.